Hey there, Grant Woldridge with Woldridge Boats. We're here in Seattle, Washington at Lake Washington, going to go run and test a 20 foot XP with an inboard. This boat has a six foot wide bottom, 12 degree dead rise through the playing surface. This has a Hamilton 212 pump with a Ford EcoBoost uh, engine marinized by Inmar. This is a four cylinder engine, saves you about 300 pounds from a 350 V8 and it performs very similar, turns really similar numbers, has great economy. You can stay at the end of the video and see some of the fuel numbers we did with a uh, normal load in the boat. We did not put crazy barrels or anything like that. We did not have time today, but you'll see our normal fuel economy uh, with a few people running in the boat. So we're gonna go out and run it and uh, give you some more closer looks at the different features and shapes of the hull. So up recessed here in the nose, we've got a LED Vision X light bar, awesome powerful light. So if you're out there trying to catch that last big fish in the middle of the night, which hopefully you're back by then, but you have something that can help get you home and hopefully light up the way, or even just put in the trailer under the boat after you come in in a dark evening. Here's a recessed front step deck. Nice spot to throw a cooler or a dead animal or just getting people and gear on and off the beach. We have a little drop down in the front of the recessed deck. Nice place to catch and keep some rope. Well, one thing that I always love about our boats with the large two-piece windshield, our visibility is great. I'm a tall guy and I'm looking right through here. I don't have a bar down low. And when I stand, I feel very comfortable standing, reaching the wheel, reaching the controls. I don't have a lot of squat. I'm standing straight up and down. I can see really well over the top. I can reach everything I need to reach. And then sitting back down, visibility is awesome. Two-piece walk through windshield. Incredible access in and out of the front of the boat. So whether you're carrying a cooler through or getting grandpa through, works really nice. All right, so this boat, our controls, uh, we have some nice, smart Lavorsi gauges so you can tell our fuel economy, all the good stuff that you need to know. Blue C switch panel with things like the lights and bilge pump, all the basic stuff. We have heater, USB, 12 volt, and a nice Flowtech shift system here. I like the dual lever, you can do dual or single. I personally like the dual lever. I can have a little bit of throttle going. I can be shifting in and out of forward, neutral and reverse while having the two. We've got dual side trays in the boat on both sides. So it just gives you a little bit more rod storage. It also gives me that toe kick right here. So when we're leaning against the boat, I feel nice and secure. Of course, we've got our railings. I can lean against net and a fish. I feel nice and good. If we're gonna go walk around the outside, for some reason the door is blocked, we have a nice generous walk around on each side of the boat as well. Plenty of space in this thing, as you can see. If you want bench seats, you got room for it. If you want coolers, if you're just gonna put a bunch of totes in here and dead animals heading up to moose camp, you've got the room for it. Well, here's a transom. Again, we have a six foot wide bottom, Delta pad underneath. Hamilton 212 water jet with a 2.4 impeller. Uh, we're turning about 4150 to 4200 RPMs with this impeller setup and the EcoBoost. This has a three quarter swim step, so we run all the way to this side. That side's left empty and we have a Jetco stomp grate in top. Diamond plate here, got some rubber on top of the transom and on top of the engine cover, just in case you got some tools up there that are not sliding all around. So we're powered by the Ford EcoBoost marinized by Endmar. Quiet, smooth, man, barely makes any noise. This boat also has a sand trap. We've got dual batteries, the basics, but she's set up very nice, super quiet. Again, you're gonna save about 300 pounds from a, from a V8. So that's nice and it turns the impeller at a, a really nice RPM, about 4150 to, to 4200. Let's see what she does when you open her up.
Hey, thanks for watching our little video on the 20 foot XP with the EcoBoost. We very much appreciate it. If you like it, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, please subscribe and check out the other videos that we have. Super thankful for you. You can also follow us on Instagram and on Facebook at Woldridge Boats. Talk to you later.